Hello lovely people, Izzy here aka The Quirky Environmentalist and welcome to day 3 of Fashion Revolution Week. Today's theme is Fashion Fix which is why I'm sat on my floor because we are going to do some sewing um, and fixing of clothes. If you're new to fixing your clothes and you're looking for a guide on how to do that then my blog post for today is a beginner's guide to fixing, upcycling, customising your clothes. The link will be in the description. There's loads there. I've made sure to put a mix of sewing machine, hand sewing and no sew tutorials on there too. So you can find everything from sewing on a button to upcycling a pair of jeans to putting pockets in a dress to yeah there are lots of things on there so check that out if you want to do some fixing and if you want to get involved today then use the hashtag fashion fix on social media and share some past present or what you hope to do in the future fixes of your clothes and also tag me at Marky Cloud so I can see them and share them anyway into the fixing today we have this lovely jumpsuit I bought this jumpsuit a little while ago I was charity shopping before work and <laughs> tried it on and was like yeah I like it I will buy it and didn't notice that there's a hole in it and I didn't notice this until I went out for dinner for my granddad's birthday a couple of months ago um, and what I also noticed at that time is that the the bit here likes to go whoop, 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 and just reveal this here um, which is fine if you're on stage at a burlesque show, but not so fine if you're at your granddad's birthday with your whole family. Um, so we're aiming to fix those today. I want to put knee pads on here, but this is actually much lower than my knee. It's like here, so I might have to make really long knee pads or just make it look like my knees are really low down or do something else. I don't know. Um, and I'm also going to try and put a button in the bit here that goes across here. Um, to hold it in place. I was going to try and do something with this but I feel like it's easier just to put a button here and secure it. Um, that also stops me relying on things like safety pins to keep it together so that I'm not flashing everyone all the time. <laughs> I was going to put a poll out on Instagram because I had a couple of different fabrics that I was thinking of using but then I found this and I realised that there is literally no other option. <laughs> I bought this to try and make a two piece out of which was a really bad idea because Look how thin and not stretchy this fabric is. I don't know how I'd make a skirt on top of it like this, but it works on top of this. Um, and because I think it's weird just to put knee pads on there, I'm also going to put some culprit cuffs on the sleeves and the trousers and maybe even make these bits culprit as well. We'll see. Um, I'm notorious for taking ages on sewing products and just kind of leaving them. So, <laughs> the thing is with fixing your clothes is that it's a guaranteed way to make them last longer. Um, if you really love your clothes, you're gonna try and fix them to keep them lasting. And I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this after I fixed it. I might put it into a clothing swap or a charity shop, but at least it's more likely that someone will want it when there's not a massive hole in it. Let's get fixing. I'm starting off by just really roughly um, drawing out the shape of a knee pad because I want to see if a knee pad's actually going to work because this is really low down and I mean really rough here because I just need to know if it, it's going to work in the place I want it to. So I pinned this paper knee pad onto one knee, figured it looked okay but maybe I should try a longer one. Tried making a longer one but then that one was like still lower than my knee and just looked a bit weird so I decided to go back to my original design which I just refined and um, folded in half to cut to make sure that it was even on each edge. Then it was time to cut my fabric knee pads out so I folded the fabric in half as I needed two knee pads and I made sure to add at least a centimetre around the edge to give me a seam allowance as I was going to fold it and sew it. Next up, I first tried to fold in the edges and pin the patches directly to the trousers but it was really fiddly because they were a round shape so I instead, with the help of my lovely mum, folded them over and um, tacking stitched them before attaching them, though I did this bit off camera. Before fully pinning them to the trousers I did make sure to iron them so that they were all flat and I wasn't going to stitch them on all cold. 
then it was time to hand sew the patch to my trousers. This was a pain, let me tell you. I initially tried to use bag stitch, but I kept accidentally stitching the two sides of the fabric together and it was taking ages. So I stitched a front, switched to front stitch, um, which took a lot less time. Using thick thread may look nice, but it is a pain to sew with when you're also sewing through thick fabric. And then after a fair bit of trial and error and quite a bit of unpicking, I eventually had them attached to my trousers. They are quite low down, but I feel like they work. Once I've got some other cow print on this as well. <laughs> Next, I decided to add cuffs to my sleeves. And so I unpicked the cuffs that were already up and cut out some fabric that was long. <laughs> I can't remember the exact measurements, I think it was 4 and 20. Um, and then I added a centimetre to each edge, but this wasn't quite enough. I really needed to add probably about two to each side and you will see how this bites me in the butt a little bit later. I pinned one side of the fabric onto the inside of the sleeve and then so I could unstitch and then so I could fold it over later. I have been told this wasn't the best way to do this, but it worked also did not realise these were the faces I made when I was sewing. <laughs> I then sewed the outside of my cuffs to the outside of the cuffs. This is a great explanation, I know. Um, and this was when I realised I didn't quite have enough fabric to take it up and fold it to where I wanted it to go. Um, but I kind of made do and just decided there would be black sticking out. This was then also a challenge to sew because I'd given myself the tiniest little allowance for when I was sewing the edge of this. Oh, I really decided not to talk to the camera during this filming. Um, next, I wanted to make the closing bit for my top and so I used a hook and eye instead of a button because it was much easier. Here I am trying to work out where exactly I want my hook and eye to go and I sort of roughly marked this with chalk so that then I could stitch it on. Then, after losing the tiny hook and eye on the floor about six times, I finally found it and stitched it on. This I found a tutorial online for, it's pretty intuitive, you just sew around the circles. Um, so the first time I sewed the hook on, I sewed it on sideways, so, you know, that went well. And that was everything done. I decided that the two little patches of cow print were enough to bring the knee pads in together with something. So I left it there and yeah, that was it. Pretty simple-ish fixing. One thing I did forget to mention is that I ironed down the cuffs of the sleeves just to make them a bit neater. They were looking a little bit wobbly thanks to my sewing technique. Um, yeah, quite a messy job, and this is still a bit gapy, I might end up, it's not risking gaping more than this, but if I lean down, um, <laughs> I might move the hook and eye up to here at some point, I don't know, these are a bit messy, definitely a lot better at slap it all together and see what happens than precise sewing, which doesn't ever work in my favour, however, I don't think this is a bad job, <laughs> I think these tie well with this, although I look more like a Dalmatian than a cow, and I think it went pretty well. As I said earlier, if you want to get involved, then just show any clothes you're mending or have mended with the hashtag FashionFix and also tag me at MonkeyCloud. And yeah, get involved, get fixing, make your own clothes. And I will see you tomorrow for a clothing love story. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more and to see the rest of Fashion Revolution as it happens. You can also check out my Fashion Revolution content on my blog and on my Instagram and all that jazz. All the links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. So all in all it was a messy fix but it did the job and I'm pretty pleased with the results and you don't have to be perfect to enjoy fixing your clothes and learning a new skill. Now enjoy these um, interesting reveal videos.